In this video, I'll show you how to use GarageBand on iPhone to create your own custom ringtones. First off, I'll show you how to create your own ringtone using GarageBand. Then I'll demo how to use GarageBand to create a ringtone from an audio file you've downloaded to the music app or saved on your iPhone. I've put timestamps down below so you can jump to the section you need. If you don't already have GarageBand installed on your iPhone, head to the App Store, type in GarageBand to the search bar, then when it pops up, hit Get. The easiest way to create your own ringtone with GarageBand is using live loops. These are fully formed beats put together using GarageBand's built-in loops and sounds, and they're all 100% royalty free. To find live loops, open the GarageBand app. If it's your first time opening GarageBand, you'll be taken directly to this instrument menu. Otherwise, the last project you were working on will open. To start a new project from here, hit the triangle drop-down, tap My Songs, then tap the plus icon at the top of the My Songs menu. In the instrument menu, tap on Live Loops at the top of the screen, then select a genre to load up. You can hit the bottom of these columns to have a beat play back. First things first, hit record for a couple of seconds. This will create a track that you'll be able to record your beat into. Then you want to turn off the metronome. That's this triangular button at the top. Tap on the small plus icon in the top right corner, then select section A, then toggle the automatic switch on. This will allow you to record more than eight bars worth of music. Lastly, tap the cog icon to open the settings menu, then toggle on the time ruler. Ringtones can be a maximum of 30 seconds long, and turning on the time ruler displays how long your recording is in minutes and seconds on the ruler. Once you're good, find the beat you like, set it off, then hit record. You can change the beat in real time as it's been recorded by tapping different columns too, if you want to. Once you're happy with it, tap the triangle in the top left corner, then tap on My Songs. Your song will take a second to save, and once it's done, tap and hold on it. In the menu that appears, tap on Share. In this next menu, select the ringtone option. If your ringtone is longer than 30 seconds, you'll see this message. Just tap Continue and it will be automatically shortened for you. Give your ringtone a name and then hit Export. Once it's exported, you'll be able to assign it as your main ringtone, text tone, or assign it to a contact directly from this menu. You can also set your ringtone up via the settings menu. Open your iPhone settings, go to sounds and haptics, tap on ringtones, and you'll be able to select your created ringtone from the list. If you want to bring in an audio file from the Files app or the Music app on your iPhone, the process is very similar. Create a new project by tapping the plus icon in the My Song screen, but this time select the audio recorder from the instrument menu. Again, you'll want to turn off the metronome. Adjust the section length to automatic by tapping on the plus icon in the top right of the screen selecting section A, then tapping the automatic toggle on. And you'll want to tap the cog icon to open the settings menu, then toggle on the time ruler. Remember, ringtones can be a maximum of 30 seconds long. The next step is to tap this button to open the tracks view. Then tap on the loop icon in the top right of GarageBand's screen. There are three tabs at the top of this menu. Apple Loops lets you use GarageBand selection of stock samples, loops, and MIDI patterns. Mm -hmm. 
tap on files and you'll be able to view a list of any files you've imported to GarageBand previously. And you can bring in files from your files app too. And the music tab lets you import music files you own or are stored locally on your iPhone. You can't bring in any tracks that you haven't downloaded to your device or any tracks that are copy protected. So don't go into this thinking you can just rip any song from Apple Music into your GarageBand projects. That won't work, unfortunately. Having said that, I'm sure that you could download any song, copyrighted or otherwise, from somewhere on the internet if you really wanted to. Anyway. To bring in a file you've downloaded or saved to your iPhone into GarageBand, tap on the File tab here, and then at the bottom, tap on Browse Items from the Files app. From here, you can select which folder your files are located in, then tap on which one you want to bring across to GarageBand. After a few seconds, you'll see the file appear in the browser. Now it's just a case of tapping, holding, and dragging your file into a track. Bringing in tracks from your Apple Music library works in a very similar way. Tap on the Music tab in the Media Browser, and in this section, you can search for specific songs or refine via album, artist, genre, playlists, or songs. Any songs that are greyed out are unable to be brought into your project, though. Once you've found the song you want to bring in, again, tap, hold, and drag it into a track. You can resize your imported track by tapping to select it, then using the handles that appear on each end of the region to fit that 30 second ringtone length. Then tap the triangle in the top left corner and tap on My Songs. Again, your song will take a second to save and once it's done, tap and hold on it. In the menu that appears, tap on Share. In this next menu, select the ringtone option. Remember, if your ringtone is longer than 30 seconds, you'll see this message. Just tap Continue and it will be automatically shortened. Give your ringtone a name and then hit Export. And just like before, once it's exported, you'll be able to assign it as your main ringtone right from this menu. Or alternatively, you can open your iPhone settings, go to Sounds and Haptics, tap on Ringtones, and you'll be able to select your ringtone from the list. Give that like button a wee tickle if you found this video helpful, and watch this next for more game-changing GarageBand tips.